Alright guys, back. There were a few interesting things, but the thing that really caught my attention was the, uh, the guarding shark tooth necklace, which I guess we could just wear as is, because we had that, uh, that open inventory slot, right? Where basically, you know, we can get rid of the obsidian shield, it's not that big of a deal. But, it penetrates armor by five, so even if I, if my, like, sharpening station thing, like, runs out, I guess we'll still have some good armor penetration, which is great. But I could also go buy it together with a honeycomb, so I, I, I don't know if it'll stack and it'll release double the bees <laughs> if I take damage or whatever, so I suppose I could make the stinger necklace, that sounds pretty good. Was there another one that I like? Oh yeah, there was, uh, oh man, where is it? Oh yeah, this one right here, the fleeting magma stone that, uh, inflicts fire damage with melee. We can combine it together with the uh, mechanical glove, which we need the titan glove to combine it together with our feral claws, that'll give us the power glove. Combine the power glove together with something else to get the mechanical glove. And then we combine those together with the magma stone. And we get the fire gauntlets. That increase melee knockback, increase melee attacks, inflict fire damage. 10% increase melee damage and speed and enables auto swing for melee. This seems like the ultimate like melee like accessory. So <laughs> since we're we already have some good melee like stuff as is. Oh, and I definitely want to make it something out of range. Someone did leave a comment saying, hey, uh, you definitely need to get something like we have a good like melee hard mode thing with the cutlass at least for right now uh, i need something good for ranged i'm like we still have uh I'm like, i guess our only ranged thing right now is the b gun which isn't really ranged it's kind of more like magic or mana or whatever i guess you could say because i don't even have like an actual gun right now i guess maybe the uh the flame lash maybe that's kind of real but this is also this the flame lash the sun fury the firecracker i think those are all and even the cascade and the b gun those were pretty hard mode things i definitely want to get more like actual hard mode stuff so Let's go over here, let's go get the shark tooth thing. Uh, I'm not too crazy about the whole knockback thing, so... I guess we can get rid of that in favor of us uh, doing the armor penetration, so let's do the stinger necklace. And then we'll also be able to release bees while, uh, when we take damage, so that sounds interesting. So I suppose I'll put that up over here in wearables, as well as every other wearable over here. There were some other things that kind of caught my interest in, but they're, once again, like, pretty far down the tech tree, so... I don't think we're going to be able to do that anytime soon, right? <laughs> but I call this, uh, accessories. Whoops, caps lock is on. There you go, accessories. Save that. Boom. Accessories right there. Nice. Animals randomly. Potions. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I need to... I still need to make a, a chest over here for, like, magic weapons and, and, and guns and whatever else. But speaking of such, I think we should be able to make one right now, right? Adamantite sword. Adamantite glaive. There it is right there. Adamantite repeater. 42 range damage. Very fast speed. Very weak knockback. 4% uh, critical strike chance. We could do it right now, you guys, if we wanted to. We're not even... Wait, I can make a palladium mask? What? I guess I have so much palladium and stuff from fishing that I can actually make that stuff. But it is, it's on par with cobalt, or maybe slightly better than cobalt, I don't know. I can make a chainsaw. Yeah, I guess the chainsaw is the same thing as the, uh, the drill, but it's just, you know, the, 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 the axe version of that, so. Uh, maybe in the future I'll get that. But I think I'm going to get this repeater, which sounds like a heckin' gun. I'm like, it is a gun. <laughs> 42 range damage, very fast speed. Compared to our current, I guess, I guess our current gun right now is the Mystic Space Gun, which I haven't even really been using very often. Uh, it will actually take mana, because I'm not wearing that armor that uh, makes it not take mana, the meteorite armor or whatever it is now. So I guess uh, we're going from 22, uh, 22, well I guess it's a magic thing, but it is a gun, so I don't even know how to classify it honestly. But I guess we're going from 22 to uh, 42, so hey, that'll help us out a bit. It's uh, very fast speed, extremely weak knockback, very fast speed, very weak knockback. So we'll have a little bit better knockback, but the same speed. So I suppose we'll do it. 12 Adamantite. We currently have 20. I'm like, we're working on Mithril armor right now, so I guess it's not that big of a deal if we, uh, we make that. We already have the Adamantite pickaxe. We already have, uh, oh yeah, we never even made the Adamantite, like, axe, did we? Yeah, we never did that. I don't even know if there even is one. Oh wait, no, there it is right there. It's a war axe. 100% uh, axe power. We already have, a uh, oh, that's hammer power right there. Where's the axe on here? Oh yeah, 70% with the keen molten ham axe. Yeah, not that big of a deal. Whatever. Let's get the repeater. Boom. We got it right there, you guys. I suppose now I need to get, uh, where I put, uh, yo-yo. I'm just going to replace the yo-yo, so there you go. Wait, what? I could use it with arrows and stuff. What? I thought it would have been with bullets, but I guess it's a bow. Ooh. Oh, wait, I guess it does kind of look like a crossbow there, huh? Interesting. So I guess I don't need this deadly bee's knees anymore. 26 range damage. 47 with the staunch. 10% damage, 15% knockback. Whew. Sounds like that makes up for the very weak, very weak knockback there, you guys. Nice. So I put up the bee's knees and the forceful cascade. Not going to be using those. And, uh... Maybe the mystics. I don't know. I, I like it uses mana and stuff. It'd be it'd be nice. Well, the, also the deadly bee gun that also uses it too. But mm, I'll put it up just to get a little bit of a little bit of inventory space back. So uh, how do I favor that again? There you go. Favor that. Favor that. And imp. I guess I'll. Uh, 
I'm like, I'm only, I only need to use the imp once, so I, I don't think it needs to be in the actual main hotbar. I can keep it in the secondary hotbar right there, and it's fine. <laughs> but I suppose I'll move these over here. There you go. And I can keep the money trough there, and then anything that's down here, I need to go move up. Speaking of such, is there anything in here? Oh, yeah, there's a few things. Ivy chest, dark trap, copper ore, cobweb, and two life crystals right there. Violet husk. And some other random garbage. Teleportation. Yeah, I need I need to use that next to see where we end up. Because I'm kind of curious where it actually takes us. Teleportation potion, you know? There you go. And uh, ivy chest and some mud. I don't need that. Gray pressure blade. Pfft. This is all garbage. I'll keep the ivy chest, though. There you go. All right. Well, I feel like we're doing pretty well right now, you guys. Oh, yeah. What arrows do we have? We have wood arrows for five. Heck fire. Yeah, we've got a lot of heck fire. I might as well. Uh, where's our. It's an ammo. I might as well put up the wood arrows. There you go. More wood arrows right there. Flaming arrows. What are the arrows? Yeah, we have Jester. We have like holy or unholy or something like that arrows in here somewhere, I think. Or I don't know where they're at. Oh, wait, there they are right there. Uh, unholy for 12. Hmm. Compared to the 13 of the Hexfire. I wonder how you make those. I need to see. Maybe I'll be able to make a bunch of them. You make them with uh, Hexstone bars and 100 wooden arrows. Whoa. That seems pretty cheap because I assume we have a lot of them just kind of left over, you guys. Do we have them in here? Uh, yeah, we do. <laughs> we can do it right now. You got there it is right there. Hexfire arrows. Let's do it. 900? Holy heck. <laughs> there you go, another 300 right there. Oh my gosh. We have way too many Heckfire arrows. Man, we've got like 1,500 and, uh, no, 1,646 Heckfire arrows right now, you guys. That is way too many. Oh, man. All right, let's put all the other arrows up. Boom. There you go. I don't need that garbage. Uh, 1,646 right there. Okay, let, 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 I, I want to test this thing out. And I also want to, there you go, get a sharpening station just because why not? Uh, suppose we'll teleport to the caverns, so maybe I'll shoot- Oh! Man, yeah, there was a traveling merchant. I don't know where he was, but, eh. I'm like, there was a fishing hole that I, I, I'm kind of looking for, if I could find one from one of those merchant guys, but whatever. Not the hugest deal in the universe. Oh, we don't even need that platform anymore, because remember, we could walk on lava right now if we wanted to. So, I suppose uh, I could just- So yeah, look at that. That's really good. Very handy. Oh yeah, and I- Oh, yeah, I was about to say, maybe something to do with a voodoo doll. We could save it before it lands in lava. I guess I could stand down here or something like that. But I, I really want to get, like, a demon or something like that over here. I want to fight something and see how much damage we do. Oh, man, I needed... I should have gotten one of those. Uh, here we go. Oh, no, it's a voodoo doll. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh. It's a... Oh, no! What? Wall of flesh again. Are you kidding me? Okay, okay. Daniel the guide has been slain here, you guys. Whoops. Hold on. We're accidentally taking on the wall of flesh again, I guess. <laughs> oh, no! Man! Okay, okay, we're zooming out. We're zooming out. Where is it? Uh, okay, okay. Repeater. Just shoot. Let's just shoot it as many times as we can with a repeater here, you guys. There you go. We're doing a little bit of damage to it, which is good and all, but you know what? I'm getting the, uh, the bee gun back out, and hopefully the bee... Because we don't have bee gun... or, uh, bee nades right now, so the bee gun, hey, that's going to be the next best thing. We're taking some damage, and of course, bees come out whenever we take damage, and, uh, as you can see, falling stars come out, too, so that's very helpful. Go and keep shooting from a distance with the repeater here. It's, uh, oh, nice, I can just hold it down, and it constantly shoots. Nice, that's really good. Let's kill this thing here, though. There you go. What was that thing called? The something, I don't know, but we're doing really well in health. It's shooting lasers out of its eyes right now. You guys! The wall of flesh without the B nades. We're doing it. We're doing it right now. What happened to our imp? Do we have our imp right now? I don't know where it is right now, but holy heck. We're doing it right now, you guys. Holy. And we're, we're, we're not even really, like, low on health or anything like that. Let's get some more uh, bees out. There you go. We have full mana, so hey, might as well use it, right? There you go. Nice. Okay, that's the end of that. And uh, somewhere over here is where... Oh, let's, let's get it. There you go. Refresh our leaf wings. Somewhere over here is where we killed it. I think we're going to kill it even sooner this time around. Boom! Wall of flesh down. Like, completely accidental. We just did it right there, you guys. Complete accidental wall of flesh battle. We did it, no problemo. I'm not bragging, but... Oh, man, if anything, the, uh, the stars seem like they kind of knock you out of the way and stuff. It's kind of crazy. I want to see what we got right now. There's another pwn hammer, I think. Yeah, another pwn hammer. Warrior emblem. I don't know what we got. What else we got there, though, you guys? But man, this repeater seems really, really good. I just see, uh, oh man, there's some heck bats here killing us. Hold on. Oh, we're in, we're in double hard mode right now, you guys, by the way. <laughs> Let's go down. Let's go. Uh, there we go. Let's grab the stuff. What is all that stuff? Wall of flesh mask. Hey! Maybe I'll be wearing that thing now. Warrior emblem, uh, 15% uh, increased melee damage. Um, I don't think we did. I don't think we got that before, did we? I don't think so. But now we got the wall. Ew, look at how stupid I look now. I kind of want to keep this, uh, traveling merchant hat, at least for right now, you know? There you go. Yeah, I don't know what happened to my imp. He must have gotten uh, stuck somewhere or something. A little bit of crimtain, hexstone bar, soul of light. 
Living fire block can be placed as a material. Ooh, I want to go talk to, uh... Well, I can't, because they're heckin' dead now, so... I guess I have to wait. And can't do anything with that. So now we have two pwn hammers, so... Oh, I wonder what the odds are of, um... I don't, I don't know what I was thinking right there. I guess doing, like, back-to-back, -back, like, wall of flesh missions, maybe? I don't know, for boss battles. But either way, let's just take on these, uh, these... Yeah, I guess the voodoo... Yeah, voodoo demon is supposed to be rare anyways, but it's kind of crazy how we saw two of them, at, like, right next to each other the first second we came into the heckin' heck area, right? <laughs> but man, that's so crazy. In, like, five episodes or whatever by now, three, four, five episodes ago... We made so much hard mode progress. Well, then again, we had a two and a half hour long Ekin special for episode 50, so we made a lot of progress in that episode. <laughs> but still, five or so episodes later, doing the, uh, the, the wall flesh battle, like, back to back, comparing the, the progress, I'd say we made some good progress thus far, you guys. Not bad at all. And I'm loving this repeater so far. Uh, let's go down here. Did I loot that obsidian chest yet? I don't know if I did. There's a heck bat right there. And it... Did it get- I think- I, I don't know if it got killed by my imp, or if it got killed by the heckin' falling stars right there, but it was kind of funny. <laughs> like, a bunch of stars just come crashing through the heckin' ceiling right there, because, uh... Let's see, what's inside of the obsidian chest? Yeah, of course we already knew that. Not really that surprised. Sheesh. But I- I guess I'm pretty comfortable now knowing, hey, if we find a voodoo demon and it summons in another wall of flesh battle, it's not even that big a deal, which it's just going to be a minor inconvenience from now on, huh? Did we get good money from that? I think we did. We're up to 18 gold now. I don't know if how much gold we had beforehand, so... Either way, that's still pretty fucking good there, you guys. Let me go to the money trough, and let me, uh, sell my- or, uh, put my gold up. There we go. Boom. Nice. We got some, uh, soul of light right there. I kind of want to go backwards a bit, because I feel like there might be some soul of light and soul of whatever else over there that might have spawned in after- Oh, yeah, what is this block here, though? Does it actually give it to us? Oh, yeah, just crimtain brick. Okay, yeah, nothing too special there. I guess I'll grab it anyways. Oh, it's one of those things! Hold on. Where is it? Uh, I don't know where it is, but I'm shooting this- this flame lash. Oh, there it is over there. It got killed. Nice. <laughs> ah, but I guess I'll continue getting the bricks over here. The Grim Dane bricks. Boom. There you go. And go into... Yeah, landing on top of that. Look at this. We're walking on the lava right now. The Tower Spark boots are amazing. Well, then again, we had the Lava Something boots earlier that did the same thing, but... Even upgraded the Tower Spark. Whew. These are still amazing. And I'm mainly just backtracking here to see if there are any soul of anything that might have been left behind. While we're kind of evading the wall of flesh going from left to right there, you know? I'm just seeing a lot of, like, mana stars that heal up your mana, as well as a lot of, like, health hearts that heal up your heart, your, your health. Was it right here that it summoned in? I think it was, somewhere around here. Hmm. Oh, yep, here you go, here you go, another soul of, uh, soul of night. Yeah, I don't know what the soul of night, soul of light, soul of flight. I don't know what, like, half of those things are, or, like, what, I, 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 I know specific creatures have got to be dropping specific things, like, soul of light, that's got to be from, like, Oh, what's that thing right there? Oh, it's a banner. That's gotta be from, uh, killing stuff in the hollow, but... I don't know if the soul of... I guess soul of night would be heck creatures, maybe? I guess. Heck hammer banner. Okay, I guess I'll grab that. <laughs> but yeah, I, I definitely want to get a full mithril set of armor, so I think I'm going to do is, uh... You know what? While we're down here in the heck area, do we have that potion? The teleportation? No, we put that up. Man! Alright, let's go. Let's go home. And, uh, oh yeah, I wanted to see how much actual direct damage, let's hit a voodoo, or, uh, an actual demon. Okay, 60 damage right there, so I think it does combine the- oh, yeah, you do- you do get inconvenienced by the heckin' stars, so that sucks. <laughs> but, uh, oh man, there's a lot of magma things down there. Which is actually good, because we could actually just walk on the lava, and just melee them down like this. And they go through the lava. I thought they'd go- they, they'd walk on top of the lava like me. What's that thing? I don't know what it is, but it's dead now. <laughs> but yeah, let me- let me go home real quick. There you go. Yeah, that, that, that repeater is definitely pretty good, you guys. Not bad at all. I like that, especially with the, uh, the ammo. Yeah, I think it does combine together. So 47 plus the 13, yeah, that, that's why it does 60 there. So that's really good, you guys. Nice. So I, I don't know if that's the best type of arrow that we can get at this point in time, but hey, it's pretty fucking good. Not bad at all. Warrior emblem, though. Uh, we, we still don't have a guide right now. Maybe I'll make time pass real quick. I don't know. Uh, I need to look this. What's this thing called again? I don't know what that thing's called. I don't even know where I got it. I don't remember. <laughs> it's only been like three or so episodes since we got it, but I don't know where we got it. But hopefully we got ourselves another guide here in just a moment. And I'll be able to ask him about the, uh, the warrior emblem right there. I guess back. And yeah, I, I, oh, by the way, the new, uh, <laughs> the new, uh, guide's name is Colin. But yeah, we, we combined together with the Soul of Might, five of those, Soul of Sight, five of those, Soul of Fright, five of those. And I think you get that one from the, the Mechanical Worm. That one's from the twins, that's like the two eyeballs. And Pure Terror, I think that's gotta be Skeletron Prime. So I think I have to kill those three bosses 
And I don't know how many they drop. Maybe they drop way more than just five a piece, hopefully. Uh, but uh, I guess if we kill each one of those at least once, we might and then come down together with the warrior emblem, we'll be able to get the Avenger emblem that does 12% increased damage, which I guess applies to everything. Because this one does it for melee damage, which is really good at 15%. Like, holy heck, I might as well use that like right now. Sheesh. But I don't know where I put it. I've got the leaf wings there, the, the bee cloak, armor penetration right there by five. I don't know where I put it. And of course, Hair Spark, not going to get rid of that. Not going to get rid of the Charm of Myths either. Man, I don't know. Maybe the Violent Bee Cloak, but I'm like the bees, the uh, the, the stars that come out of the sky aren't really too crazy. Maybe I will. Maybe I will uh, get the warrior. I, I guess I'll go talk to Gerd or whatever his name is now <laughs> and see if I can uh, reforge it. Where, oh, there he is right there. Or Nudar. There he is right there. Reforge. Can I reforge that? I can't for three gold. That's it. Quick. 4% movement. I'm like, I don't need more movement speed. Let's do another one. Uh, critical Strike Chance. Ah, you know what? Another 4% right there. I'm not going to complain. So it does 4% Critical Strike Chance and 15% increased melee damage. Woo! I better be using this, you guys. Up to 73% melee damage now. Holy heck. 14% damage from the Sharp. And then another 15% right there from the Lucky Warrior Emblem. What? I wonder what it is baseline. Holy heck. Because it's up to 73 right now. And we do... <laughs> Kill the heck and jeez! What about this bunny? 82 damage that bunny. Man. Because I know some, yeah, like the melee speed right there goes up. We have a DPS meter somewhere. I don't know where it is right now, though. Uh, then 2%, like overall damage right there, which is really good. Uh, critical strike, movement speed, and then movement speed. Yeah, I don't know why uh, I have so much, many movement speed things. But uh, I'm like, it costs money to reforge it, so I'm not going to spend a bunch of that money. I guess I'll put up the B cloak right now. Because uh, I, I, at least for right now, at least for me, in, in doing melee with our current melee weapons and stuff like that, I'd say this is a lot more valuable. So I suppose... Uh, I'll keep the warrior emblem instead of having like weird stars from all those guy and bees. Some I'm like bees still get summoned in because this thing right here, the stinger necklace. So if I if I get damaged, then bees will be released and hopefully I don't get like flung across the map. Oh yeah, we we got flung, we probably got flung across. The we wouldn't have gotten flung across the map if we had the uh, the zero knock the the obsidian shield, huh? Because we have no knockback from that thing. Oh yeah, by the way, traveling merchant over here, Willie. He don't have anything interesting. Leopard skin, panda ears, dynasty wood, and nothing too crazy there. So meh. Whatever, not 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 anything necessarily interesting to me. I will say though, just casually just roaming around like this, walking around, I am noticing us being a lot faster. Like look at this. Like we're we're already getting like plus eight percent just from these right here, plus four percent, plus four percent, and then uh whatever this, yeah another eight percent right there. So we're getting like a sixteen percent movement speed like increase from our accessories right now. Yeah, I'm definitely noticing that. Hmm, interesting. Either way. Uh, I guess I'll just continue to remember. You guys remember when we were like digging down? <laughs> I'll, 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 I guess I'll continue digging down over here and trying to prevent like crimson from spreading. Maybe I'll put some sunflowers and stuff around here, too. I don't know. Oh, yeah, this is already crimson here, though. So I guess it's too late for this. Hmm. I don't I, I assume if I put a sunflower on crimson, it's it's, it's not going to it's too late, right? Like it's, I, I might as well just be wasting my time there, man. Uh. I don't know, maybe, oh, you know what? If anything, I'm definitely going to go get the, oh, yeah, you know what? Oh, man, there's so many things happening. I, I'm definitely going to get the Spelunker Potion, and I'm definitely going to try and find some Mithril, so we can make a full Mithril set. All I'm missing are the uh, the pants down there. We'll have a full set. I wonder what the full set uh, bonus is going to be, so that's going to be really good, but let's go over to Potions. Let's uh, sort, just because why not? Where's the, here we go, Teleportation, but let's use that. I'm curious about that. Spelunking, I think that's orange, right? There's Hunter. Where's Spelunking Potion at? Gravitation Potion. Is that what you guys were talking about? Control of Gravity. I'm going to get that right now, just in case. Oh, yeah. And then, uh, increases enemy spawn rate. Ooh, seven minute duration if I want to, like, do a bunch of battles, I suppose. Shine Potion. Let me go through all these potions real quick. Mine Potion. Not crazy about that, honestly. But, yeah, I, I also wanted to go over to that one heckin' area and figure out... Oh, there it is right there. Spelunking. Oh, it, it was... It was ye yellow. Like, I thought it was orange, but it was yellow. Five minute duration to find treasure and ore. So let's do that. Boom. What if we could buy? There's got to be a uh, merchant that sells potions, right? That'd be really good. I definitely want to find out who that is. Swiftness potion regeneration, obsidian skin. <laughs> that's that's worthless to us now. Restoration. Oh, yeah. I keep forgetting about that. Restores life and has a reduced potion cooldown. And we have a lot of them. I don't know why I don't have that, like, favorited, honestly. <laughs> Either way. Yeah, I, I guess we'll go to... Let's get, like, a bunch of building blocks. Go back to the swamp slash jungle. See, there is no swamp. What am I talking about? Go back to the jungle. And uh, 95, that should be more enough. Let's go over there and let's go see where I was, like, building up. Because that's where our imp 
Speaking of such, yeah, what happened? Oh, wait, there it is right there. I was about to say, like, what happened to him? Oh, that's the wrong thing. That's the time thing. Whoops. <laughs> I was wondering why nothing was happening right there. But let me just roam around over here real quick in the jungle and try and find where, like, a, 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 a pillar of stone is placed down. Because that's got to be where we were trying to dig up in the sky before, you know, the mechanical worm thing started killing us, right? But we were digging up, uh, building up in the sky over there specifically because our imp was, like, shooting at something in the sky. And I want to go see if there's, like, a sky fortress or a city or something like that that we might have missed. So let me see if I could find out where we were. And if not, then maybe I'll try and, like, watch my footage of episode 50 and find out where that was. Yeah, I haven't seen anything. Oh, yeah, I think it was to the left of the, uh, of their house, I think. Because there's there another, uh, yeah, 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 there's a jungle area over here. I think it was, like, right here, honestly. There's a torch. No, it's a marigold. Uh, but I do, I, I do think it's, yeah, I'm pretty confident it's, like, right here-ish. Let's go over there now. Yeah, let's go over there and let's see. Oh, you know what? Why don't? Why am I not on my unicorn? There you go. <laughs> oh wait, does my unicorn also walk on? What? Oh, it does. Because I have the 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 Terra Spark boots, my mounts also walk on. Wait, what? Why did it go through the water right there? But not now. Okay, I don't know why I was doing that. Huh? Very strange. Either way, let's just go up over here. Is this the? Uh, no, 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 this isn't the thing just yet. Where was it? There's a meteor, or a- Wait, is that a new meteor? I think this is the new meteor, you guys. Is this it? Oh my god, it- It was only like four blocks tall. No wonder I did that- I thought that was a tree, but hey, there's the new meteor right there, you guys. Remember, like- Was this- built? I don't know when this was. Oh yeah, yeah, this was relatively recently. Yeah, 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 because we took on the Brain Cthulhu again, you know? Uh, there you go. How good is our pick now, getting meteorite? Oh my god. Hold on, let's do this. Oh my god, we're mining meteorite like it's nothing. And of course, no burn at all. Our adamantite pick is able to mine this stuff, no problemo. And I guess, if anything, I can smelt this into meteorite bars, which we probably already have a heck of a ton of already. And just sell them and get some money, I suppose. So, hey, I guess that's a benefit, right? And, yeah, I guess, I guess if anything, maybe I could farm some of these meteor heads. Maybe I'll keep some of the meteor around so these meteor head guys keep spawning in and I'll just... You know, kill them, and I'm like, they're easy mobs, so, let's see, uh, like, even my imp can kill them. Do I even get any good money from them, though? Yeah, I can kill it right there. I don't even know if I get any money from him in general. What? Man. Alright, well, hey, at least we finally found out where that meteor was. <laughs> and I guess, if anything, we're getting a little bit of dirt that we could use as, like, building blocks, too, so. There we go, great, get all that meteor, right? Sheesh. You guys remember, uh, not even too long ago, we were talking about, uh, I was talking about, oh man, did I find out, like, a really cool way of, uh, mining meteorite or something like that? But no, apparently that's like an, a that was like an actual valid strategy and I didn't really discover anything too crazy new. <laughs> but either way, let's start building up over here with, uh, just whatever I have right here. And now I just ran out of more stuff, so, used the dirt. And I guess we'll just try and just build a big pillar up in the sky. It's gonna look ugly as butt. But you know what? At least we'll be able to hopefully find a sky fortress. If we actually do find one, then maybe- Oh yeah, there's also a teleportation potion we should- We should definitely use, so... Oh yeah, and I also have the gravitation potion. I think that's what it was, right? Hold on, let me see if I can find it by flying. Nope, didn't find anything right there. Oh, whoa! Wait! Oh, there's another thing right there! And another one right there! Yeah, that's gotta be something. That's gotta be- Come on, let's get the repeater out. Where is it? There it is right there. Shoot- Harpy, yes! That's got to Hold on. What is that? Whoa! That is like some sort of flying dragon. Hold on. Oh, there it is again. Why is a wyvern? It's a wyvern. You guys, I think I remember someone commenting about it. A wyvern. Hold on. Let's keep shooting at it. Let's get our bee gun out. Hopefully it's going to help us out a little bit. There you go. Get the bees out. There we go. Nice. Do some damage to that thing. 4,000 health. Holy heck. All right. Let's get the uh, repeater back out. Keep shooting at it, doing 60 damage every shot. Boom, boom, got it dead. Nice, there's a thing up there though, a soul of uh, probably flight if I had to guess. Let's see if we can go grab it. Oh man, I can't. Ah, uh, there's some meteor heads over there my imp's taken care of, which is good. Then I'm gonna have to go over to here. Boom, go over there and then start flying from here. There it is, there it is, there it is, perfect. And, oh, and there's another wyvern, what? Yep, soul of flight, which has got like a, like nine of them right there or something like that, I think. Either way, hey, look at that, that wyvern's taking a lot of damage. well, so are we! <laughs> Let's take another health potion. And hopefully we can kill it, like, did it go underground? I think it, oh, there it is, there, or, is that a different one, is that the same? Is it, is, okay, we got another one right there, you guys, whoa, there's gotta be something up there. Is that another wyvern, what's happening? I don't know, it's just a bunch of meteor heads, okay, whew. But yeah, we're getting soul of flights over here, you guys, nice. There's going to be a terrible night, uh-oh, uh-oh, what is it? What is it now? This is going to be a terrible night. 
I don't know what that is. There's another boss going to spawn in, you guys. Another boss is about to spawn in. I don't know what it is. Here we go. I'm going up here, though. What is it? Oh, I, 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 I think it's going to be like two minutes or something like that before something actually spawns in. There we go. Let's try and heal up here in just a moment. Boom. And you know what? You know what? I'm going to go home real quick. There we go. I'd even want to go to my boss arena, to be quite honest. Let's get the sharpening over here. Boom. And... Man, I don't know. I don't, I don't want to put anything up over there. Uh, maybe I'll buy some healing from Emily real quick. Uh, sure, just silver. Whatever. Who cares? I guess we'll go back to the jungle and see if we're going to... Uh, oh, a little bit of gold right there. You know what? Uh, put that up. I'll put that up in the piggy bank. Boom, boom, boom. I don't know what the terrible knight or something like that was alluding to, but I'm going back to the jungle area. I don't know about the boss arena idea, but I'm just going to go over here to my big pillar. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm gonna do, okay? Gonna, gonna, gonna get on my a unicorn, double jump all the way over there, and, uh, whatever spawns in, hopefully we'll be far enough away from it to where it's not even going to be able to reach us, right? I'm like, for a second I thought it was... <gasps> the twins! Uh-oh! The twin. We're fi Wait, what? how did we... Hold on, hold on, whoa, 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 hold on, hold on. I don't know how to fight these guys, but they're we're fighting them already, you guys. Holy... Should I get the beat? I'm getting the bee gun out. I'm getting the, I can't- Oh, get off the- Get off the- Oh, I'm trying to fly around, but my- I was still on my unicorn right there. <laughs> Holy- Oh my god, I, I really don't know how we summoned this thing in. It's because we killed a wyvern? I think it was. We're fighting the- The, the twins. They have their own individual names. I, I can't really see what they are. But I'm, I'm shooting at them with a repeater. Doing okay amounts of damage, but- Man, they still have a lot of heck and health. Hold on, there you go. I really want to get, like, right up next to him. Get him with the, uh, the cutlass, though. There you go. Do a little bit of damage. Oh, you know what? Mm. Does this count as melee? I don't know if this counts as melee with the, uh... Oh, I'm, like, standing on top of the, uh, the eyeball. Poking it and stuff. <gasps> oh, no! Hold on. Keep getting it with a repeater. Keep poking him. Oh, nice. And when we're standing, like, on... Oh, 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 hold on, hold on. Oh, I'm taking a lot of damage. I'm about to die. I'm about to die. I don't know how to take these guys on. <laughs> no, man! 17 seconds till I can take another one. No, I'm dead! Spasmat... Spasmatism. What? <laughs> man, I need to see why that guy even got summoned in right there. Well, we've apparently summoned in, like, all the heckin' bosses right there. All, or all three of the mechanical ones. We had the, the, the destroyer get summoned in. I don't think we really lost, like, any money right there, which is good. We had the, uh, we had Skeletron Prime summoned in. I think we're, like, in the underworld when that happened, so I guess he didn't actually spawn in, but we still got that message. But, uh, I don't know how to take those guys on, honestly. Like, there's gotta be some, like, I don't know. Soul of Flight, yes, it's a flying. Yeah, that's the, uh, the Wyvern thing there, so that's good that we got that. I guess I'll put it up in the random loop. I barely have any, uh, oh, yeah, we had some room there, which is good, but. I don't know how to, you know, I'm going to pull it up right now. Why did those guys spawn in? The Twins. A hard mode mechanic boss, essentially more difficult version of the Eye of Cthulhu. The twins are two separate flying entities, Retinaz Retinazer and Spasmatasm. <laughs> Connected by a tendril, uh, each with its own attack pattern and life count. Both must be okay. So the life count thing. Okay, I, I guess uh, whenever I was, whenever I hit one, its life bar would appear. If I hit the other one, the other one's life bar would appear. So. Yeah, I thought they had their, like, the, a combined health bar, so, yeah, it's kind of like, uh, basically two separate bosses at once. The twins can be summoned by, by using a mechanical eye at night. Also have a 10% chance of spawning randomly at dusk once a demon altar occurs. Okay, so it, it was another one of those 10% chance of randomly spawning at dusk things in hard mode after, uh, after destroying a crimson altar. Okay, so that, that's the same, that's the same reason the destroyer and all that kind of stuff got summoned in, so... Uh, which is interesting and actually kind of good because, you know, hey, it, it, we don't have to, like, build a, uh, or, like, summon it in any other way. I guess maybe there's a little bit of luck and it's kind of surprise factor, which is kind of fun. <laughs> but I don't know how to take it on, honestly. I feel like the repeaters were doing an okay job. It's just that I need to figure out, like, which one. I, oh, are they different colors? Uh, yeah, they are. One of them is a red eye. One of them is a green eye. So maybe I can aim down one of them and then try and take down, like, single out one of them and then work on the other one rather than trying to kill both of them at once, right? That might be a decent strategy, but for right now, let's just go back to the jungle pylon. Doubt we lost any, like, money. And at least any crazy amounts of money. Probably lost a little bit, but I doubt anything crazy. Uh, yeah, that's where we died right there, so might as well, boom. Get our, uh, cross grave marker there. Oh no, it's another twins! Oh no, it's just a wandering eye. <laughs> but yeah, how much health do they have again? Hold on, I think I have the page pulled up and it'll tell us. 43,000- What?! 
I, th I think they have 20,000 health-ish each, but because there's two of them and they have 40-something thousand health. <laughs> I think that's what the what the deal is right there. Jeez. Let's get another imp. Boom, there you go, nice. Alright, well, I, I suppose we'll go back to that, that tower we built over there and try and continue, you know, let's get our, uh, there you go. Yeah, I think, I think the whole me still being on unicorn thing for the first bit of that definitely didn't help us out a bit. <laughs> But even even after I dismount from the unicorn, we still didn't really do too much damage to those eyeballs. So I don't know. Definitely need to be a little bit more prepared here in the future, you guys.